Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Madison Olivia and today we are going to be cleaning out our cars. It is really overdue for both of us. So we're going to go downstairs, get everything cleaned out. We're going to detail it, show you guys the whole process, show you the dirty little nasties of our car. And I hope it gives you guys some motivation to also clean out your cars in the middle of the winter. I bet everyone's car is pretty much similar to what ours looks like. So get out there. It was actually pretty nice outside today. It was mid 40s, so it wasn't too bad. So find a pretty day and get out there and clean your car. But without further ado, here is our car cleaning video. Hope you enjoy. And um, if you do enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell for future upload notifications. Thanks, bye. All right, so my boyfriend and I are cleaning our cars today. Um, I, we're doing kind of a detailing, getting the dust, getting a little grubbiness out from in here, taking trash out of the car, and then we're gonna go by the car wash and get it all clean. But yeah, we're gonna do the windows, just get, her, get them shiny and clean. But yeah, here we are. All right, so we're gonna clean out all the gunk and trash that's in his car. More trash in the back. It's not terrible, but um, we just wanna make sure everything's clean. What the heck is all that on there? So we'll clean his interior, do the windows as well. There's also a bunch of dog hair up here because of Miss Piper, her, his puppy. She is quite the shedder. So, oh, and we totally forgot to bring a vacuum down, so we're gonna have to do that last, I guess. So, wait till the end to see how it looks. Woo! -hoo. So, my truck isn't too bad. It's just pretty much reusable bags for groceries. Um, this is for snow, and then I just got these bowls. We got a whole massive bag of trash out of his trunk, and I mean, we can't even do every, anything else. That whole white bag right there is just clothes that he needs to bring into his house and shoes. We found a cool Polaroid camera. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but pretty cool. Should, wanna, should definitely wanna play with that soon. Found weights, which probably should not be in his trunk, and a blanket that needs to be washed. And then the only thing that really should be in your trunk is these jumper cables and these movies need to go in the house, so. So I just brought our trash over to the trash compactor and while I was walking over here because we have valet trash I've never noticed this but we have a dog park so cute I want to bring Piper over here okay well, so we just used some spray glass cleaner I think this is from like the dollar store or something I'm not quite sure but you can pretty much find this type of product at the dollar store or anywhere really but here are our two um, dirty towels these are the microfiber glass and window towels and they work wonderful for Glass. Look how shiny. You can see the clouds in the beautiful sky from our cars. Look at that. Beautiful. Hi. But yeah, looking good. Car's looking great. She's so shiny. We'll cut that out. Beautiful. So shiny. And we're going to move on to cleaning the inside, dusting the inside, and then we just need to vacuum and get the outside washed. And we'll be pretty much done. Just gotta detail the inside now. Let's see. Yeah, definitely need to vacuum. Um, but yeah, let's try getting that started. So I'm currently working on, this section was absolutely disgusting and sticky and now I'm getting all the sticky nasties. Like that's before and after, so yeah. And I got all the nasties out of here. Still have to get whatever that is up, but we're getting there. All right, so before it was pretty much just like a madhouse in here. Now we just have, we're just gonna put his masks in there. His coins are now here, they were all just in there. And then we just put like one of his backup masks, a couple of things he needs to bring in the house, like this card. All right, so I cleaned this out. Now it's just that one card, his two gift cards, some roadside assistance information and a mask. So yay, and we've cleaned all that out. What? that I need to apparently get a little bit better. Dang it. All right, we're gonna call it good enough um, and move on to his dashboard. Furry, very furry dashboard. All right, I'm not sure if I got it before, but his steering wheel had all this gunk built up on it. And he said that that's how he got it from the dealership. Um, and it came right off with just a little bit of a dollar store 
spick and span so don't be lazy guys just try to get it off it'll come off it's called elbow grease scrub 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 but anyway now we're going to I just did mine but you see how absolutely disgusting the rims of his doors are like I do mine all the time so it was a really quick wipe down all right so I went in with the white of uh, the my little red cloth by Norwex and cleaned all of the interiors of all four of his doors. Just so you guys can see some little real life moment here. That is how filthy this little red cloth got. However, it just keeps on working. Norwex are a wonderful brand of cloth as well. Um, E-Cloth is the other my other favorite brand pretty sure its logo is on here somewhere but they're actually disgusting at this point let me see and now we are off to the car wash to get our cars cleaned on the outside and then we just need to vacuum and we should be almost done we'll show you the final results all right so we just got back from the car wash my car is looking very pretty and shiny now but unfortunately it has started to rain so we're gonna hold off on vacuuming and we will get back to this in what looks to you guys is just one second all right so this is my baby's finished clean car um we vacuumed out the car with my dyson v8 animal and it's looking much better Sorry, that was my keys, guys. But yeah, I got it all cleaned out. And all we have left is these little sap drops from, he lives in an apartment with a lot of trees. So there's like these little black dots and we're gonna try to remove them with a stainless steel e-cloth and some hot soap sea water. So we'll let you know how that works. All right, we thought we'd get a quick action shot, so. He's gonna zoom in for me so you can see these little guys. All we're using is like soap and water. We're just rubbing it right off. And it's coming off. Oh look, there's two on. Yeah, I, never thought, I thought this was gonna screw up my paint, but I guess it didn't. No, it looks like it kind of is, but then that comes straight off. Like you just have to keep rubbing. And your paint job looks right again. Woohoo! <laughs> again. We're in our masks because my building's internal, so <laughs> I'm gonna swear we're not goofballs. <laughs> Just have to wear them to wear them inside the building. <laughs> There's literally no one around us right now, I probably. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's a quick before. It is getting a little dark outside, so it's not even 5 o'clock, but, you know, winter life, but here's the before. Both sides definitely need some love, so we're going to give that love to them very quickly. And just like that, the floorboards are clean. I do have some stains. I might try to get those up another day with some carpet cleaner, but it is vacuumed. Yay! Thank you, Dyson. So the final result is a nice clean car. We feel very productive to have gotten our cars so sparkly clean. So yay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a bit of a strange one, but <laughs> we're gonna go inside now. It's getting really cold. So I hope everyone has a good night and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.